Alright guys, in this video, I'll be explaining how to get 60 FPS and 4K uh, output and uh, also re-going over what I went over in my last video. You guys had a lot of questions on uh, how to get the 60 FPS output. Basically, in the last video, I explained how to make your quality from buffering like this to move on at 1080p to basically no buffering and clean. That's what the last video explained. And a lot of you guys had a lot of questions, a lot of long responses. Uh, just asking how to basically get that 60 fps output in this video i'm about to show you real quick and simple i keep stuff quick and simple so basically in order to keep this every time so you don't have to keep going back and doing it uh... make sure you guys go to your master settings and then my fault go to presets and then you're gonna have to save it here like save as and then i titled it best and then i clicked enter but you guys will do this after so let me cancel let me click on what my thing is right now best and I click load so basically all you guys have to do is copy these settings right here on the screen a lot of you guys settings will say 1080 10, 1920 by 1080 make sure you guys copy all these settings I'm going to go through all the tabs so that make sure you guys have sharper stretch to all corners make sure you guys have that color management this is really important or well, you guys copy that this right here, make sure you guys copy all of that. This isn't really important. This is very important. Make sure you guys copy this. Make sure you guys have this at 60. Make sure you guys have data levels at full. Make sure you guys copy all of this that I just laid out. The frames, everything. Copy all of that. Make sure you guys click save after we're done all of this. Copy all of that. Copy all the far light settings. And then click save. And then when you guys save it, Make sure you guys click save as after you guys copy all of those settings and then name it best settings. And make sure you guys click OK. And then click look click on the one you want to load and then click load. And then click cancel out. And then when you guys go back, it should say Ultra HD. It sh so a lot of people had the problem where their shit was at uh 1080, 1920 by 1080. Well, when you guys do this, it will set it to Ultra HD. Make sure you guys do this at the start of you doing your project so you have no problems. Make a new project. If you guys are also on a new timeline, a lot of people have this problem too and ask me a lot. A lot of people go over here and then they made a new timeline and then they click Create. And a lot of people are on Timeline 2. This is Timeline 1, obviously. It will say Timeline 2 right here, Timeline 3, etc. A lot of times it will be at this. All you guys have to do when you're in your project and you guys have any settings, copy the exact settings I went over just now and you guys will be good. And then obviously the render out settings, you guys already know. I already dropped a video on this, but I'm going to re-go over the best render out settings to get no buffering. Just copy what I'm doing on the screen right here. Real quick and simple. And that's pretty much it, bro. It's that simple. That simple. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And these are the best render out to get no buffering. And once again, these are the best in settings that you guys need to copy. And uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. But this is a real quick and short video because a lot of you guys in the comment section are last. Well, my last uh, DaVinci Resolve video had a bunch of questions. But that's pretty much all the answers answered. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. We out.